Hey folks, and welcome back to this channel. Um, today I want to show you something interesting. I'm going to actually make a infrared burning laser out of a cheap laser pointer. Now this is, here's the, here's the pointer that burns, and here's what I started with. This is a cheap uh, green laser pen. This is 532 nanometers, and you can get these off of eBay for about $3. That's where I got this one. Now this work has been done before. There are other people out there, check out Star of Pyro, has, who has done some excellent work on infrared lasers with powerful infrared lasers. I'm not going to work with a high power one. These things are rated for about five uh, milliwatts, but they're typically more than that. And when you um, get the infrared laser out of this thing, that's generating a lot more than five milliwatts. So that's why it burns. So um, let me tell you a bit about this. This um, module uh, generates the green 532 nanometer light in a three-step process. It contains, this unit contains a infrared laser diode that produces 808 nanometers, which is focused upon a neodymium crystal that converts that 500, uh, that converts the 808 nanometer light to 1064 nanometer light. Now that 1064 nanometer infrared light is then focused onto a frequency doubling crystal that converts it into 532 nanometer green light, which is what you see coming out of this. So that green light that you see there is from that three-step process. Now that process is not 100% efficient, and there's no filter in this thing to filter out any uh, 808 nanometer light that is not converted to green light. So this also produces infrared laser light that you can't see. And that's the danger of these things. And before you work on this project, you want to make sure that you have a um, set of laser goggles that protects you against infrared lasers. And I got a set of glasses uh, for about $30. Let me show Here's you. Here's the glasses. Um, they look a little nerdy, and uh, they are. Um, they come with a uh, polycarbonate front and these protect against 808 nanometer and three other wavelengths of light as well, three other wavelengths of IR light. They're completely clear, which is why they're so useful. So you can actually do the project work without the risk of getting it blinding yourself. So these are a must before you start this project. Now I'm gonna do a quick demo. Um, I got this, um, this filter here. This filter filters out all visible light and only lets near infrared light pass through it. So the um, so if I shine the green laser through this, all of the green laser light should get filtered out, and you should only be able to see the um, infrared light. Uh, and that proves that the uh, laser pointer produces infrared laser light as well. So let's go ahead and do that experiment right now. Now this is not visible to my own eyes. So you saw that. Now I can't see that light but the cell phone camera can. And actually any digital, most digital cameras can see infrared light, and that's the beauty of it, that you can use these to see, to see your project even though you can't. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start our project to make our burning laser. First of all, screw off the cap. It just comes right off with a pair of pliers. You can just pull it right off. Then you have um, the front exposed, and if you look into it, you can see the focusing lens. Then we want to get that lens out. So we use a hacksaw to cut it up into segments like this, and then you can screw it out right like this. See it? And there's the lens at the end. There's the green generating crystal in the end there. I want to pull that off to expose the laser. The neodymium crystal and frequency doubler can be pulled right off. It's just glued on. Here it is. Now here's the infrared laser diode generating 808 nanometers right in the end there. And this is what we're going to use for our burning laser. We might want to keep this neodymium crystal and frequency doubler for later use. Now this is what it all looks like when it's put together. I glued the lens, actually I stuck the lens on the front with adhesive aluminum tape at the right focal length to get a nice uh, narrow spot for burning. And 
This is what it looks like. This is what the infrared laser light looks like on my cell phone camera, which can pick it up. Here I'm shining the infrared laser onto this glasses case. See how it burns? Now this is what it looks like through my cell phone lens. Pretty cool and pretty hot. It's a very narrow point. And that was obtained by getting the lens in the right position relative to the LED laser. Now this is what it looks like to my own eyes. You can't see anything and that's why it's so dangerous. And yet, look how it burns. I do hope you found this video interesting in making a burning infrared laser pen like this. Safety comes first as always. And if you don't have laser glasses, then don't do this project. You really need laser glasses to protect you against infrared light. I wanna just say peace out and be safe.